Joining me now, Natalia Tsurklevich. Uh, Natalia, thank you very much for joining us under very trying circumstances. I can't imagine what you're going through uh, away from your family, not knowing uh, the fate of your family left behind in Ukraine. Have you heard from your husband? Uh, and if so, how is he doing? What's he saying about the situation there? Um, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I mean, I'm lucky that he's um, sedated like more to the western part of Ukraine, which is, I mean, more or less calm, although for three nights already they have still to spend time uh, in the basement because of the um, alarm system works like the whole night. Um, so he's staying with my parents and he support my parents. Uh, but as many men, he is like military obliged and um, he cannot leave the country. And so I had to to come with my uh, my children myself. Um, although we are lucky that we are still in contact. We have internet connection and we have uh, GSM connections too. Well, that, that's fortunate and probably, and I, I know it is a very big comfort for you. And you, you bring something up, I just want to ask you very quickly. Our understanding is that Ukrainian men between the ages of 18 and 60 are not permitted to leave the country. They have to serve uh, against this invasion somehow. What role is your husband playing now uh, as the Russians try to roll through Ukraine? Um, I mean, most men, uh, um, they are military obliged, but they also have to have a special um, preparation, like military preparation and skills. Um, so there is like a stages of mobilizations. Yeah. And um, um, and the, m most of, of people um, I know, they either go as um, volunteers to apply for military services. Yeah. I want to circle back. You say your parents are in the western part of Ukraine. I think I, with your husband, I think I understood you correctly. Uh, how are your parents? Are they elderly? How are they holding up under this uh, under this barrage? Um, yes, uh, I mean, they are quite elderly, but um, we also um, have a home. We open for most of our relatives because um, we have a lot of friends and relatives coming from other parts of Ukraine. So there is a lot of people staying in our place and we like share all the all the house place and like kitchen everything like together and also because our place has a basement so we share it, 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 this basement also with the neighboring um houses which do not have basement so there are a lot of families coming to our place to stay with kids yeah. during so night people, for example yeah people coming together to stay safe uh, it's amazing and it's an unspeakable horror, but at least people are coming together and able to support each other uh, during this trying time. I, I want, do want to get your reactions uh, to the rep reports here. Go ahead, go ahead, please, Natalia. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, people are amazing. They just like, we, we share everything. Like we buy food, we, we like, it's like, you know, it, we became like one big family. So uh, there are no limits to what you give, like your clothes, everything. You you receive something, you give something. It's like a big, you know, community now, uh, very supporting. Yeah. Well, uh, that is heartening. That is That is great to hear that people are coming together and hopefully you won't have to endure it or your family won't have to endure it for very much longer. Uh, at least that is, of course, the hope for people around the world. I want to get your reaction now uh, to reports you're seeing from Ukraine, your home country. Yes, the Russians are bombing, uh, but the Ukrainian armies are still fighting hard. Uh, there are reports now, again, that the Russian army, the Russian army is stalled. Uh, there is hope that the Ukrainian army can actually win this war. What do you think? <laughs> It's a, it's a challenging question because on one hand, I do very much believe uh, in our army. I do very much believe in our society. We can see how strong and how mobilized we are. Uh, but at the same time, it's very painful, honestly, to see how civilians die and to see how people suffer. Yeah? So I do believe we win the war, but at the same time, I do believe that it will never happen. And I do believe that we can be much more protected by European and American forces because otherwise, I mean, <laughs> we, we are comparing to Russia, we're still like much smaller country. So we really rely very much on support of, of the whole democratic world behind us.
because it's not a yeah. fight for us, it's a fight for the values of democracy. Well, every day we hear your president, President Zelensky, making that plea to the West. There's now a big surprise meeting of, of world leaders in Brussels next week that may come true. Uh, we certainly hope you're reunited with your family soon. Natalia Tsirklevich, thank you very much for joining us under trying thank circumstances you. tonight from Switzerland. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.